Hi, my name is Vinay. I'm part of the product team here at Influx Data, uh, and I'm going to do a demonstration of tasks and invocable scripts and how it can help uh, provide value to your application. You've probably already seen the talk that Balaji gave about tasks and alerting and uh, invocable scripts, and those are key uh, tools that you can use in an automation suite. I'll just do a quick review so that we can um, have the baseline before we get into the uh, demo. So tasks are simply queries that we can run on the platform without you needing to provision any hardware for it or any kind of OS. These are run on a schedule on our platform. You can do a lot of repetitive tasks like error checking, downsampling, alerting uh, that can, they can run um, on the platform. Now with the power of Flux, you can actually do a lot of really powerful things uh, through these tasks. Um, you know, it can just be as simple as you can query buckets or you can do things like pull in external data, um, join data, and then do some computations. It could trigger different things depending on like maybe you want to trigger some uh, alerts to Slack or PagerDuty. It is pretty powerful and what we'll do is just like go through how you can set up tasks and a little bit of how you can automate uh, tasks. Now, invocable scripts. This is another very key tool in our automation suite. And with, with, with the script, it's just a flux logic that is saved on the platform. Now you can use it in three different ways. One, you can use it to save your key flux logic and reuse it or share it within your organization. That's one use of it. The other thing is these scripts are invocable. You can invoke it using an API. So what that does is now you can trigger this logic from your application as you need, or on demand, however you need it from your work, uh, workflow logic. And the third benefit is because you can invoke scripts from tasks, you can make task management at scale a little easier. And we'll see a little bit of that in the, in the demo. All right, so what are we going to see in this demo? We're going to quickly walk through a simple downsample task, and then we'll see you know when things get a little scaled up, how you can use scripts to help you manage uh, tasks at scale. And then we'll see a, an invocable script at, at work and how that can give you value on your application. Okay, so let's get into the demo. So here's the setup. I have a, a lot of air sensors out there in the field and I am collecting this data uh, into InfluxDB and these sensors have uh, information about temperature, humidity, and carbon monoxide. And I'm on the data explorer, and this is basically how the data looks like when it's in the, in the database. The thing is, there's a lot of data coming in very frequently. And what I want to do is aggregate this data into more manageable chunks. So what I'm going to do is aggregate it using mean. Now mean is just me using a simple way to aggregate it for your Application logic, you may have more complicated uh, things that you want to do, and you know our system and Flux can support that. But I'm I'm going to start with uh, just doing a simple mean. Let's see, there we go. So what I've done here is on the same set of data, I have now aggregated it uh, over a period of um, 15 minutes, and what I'm going to do is. For this to be useful, I need to actually send it to another bucket so I can store it and uh, pull that data as I need. So this is essentially me creating my task. And what I can do is just save it as a task. I can name it down sample client A. I choose how frequently I want this task to run, say 15 minutes. And that and the output bucket, in which case is downsample client A, and I save the task. So I've already set up this task, and when we go over to the task section, we can see uh, that the downsample client A has been set up. Now let's see this uh, task at work. So this is the bucket that we were writing all the task output into. That was the downsample client A, and you can see that only the temperature, not the humidity or the carbon monoxide uh, data is being downsampled uh, here. So that was a simple aggregation, simple downsampling, which is, which is great if you only have one customer. Now, let's say in, in this scenario, we have a new customer and um, 
we have another bucket that we need to create, which is going to be you know, uh, client B. And now you have to downsample this customer as well, and now you're going to have another output bucket. And your business is doing well, your uh, application is popular, so you're going to have many more of these clients. Now you don't want to be creating the same thing again and again. You want to make this a script and automate it. And I'll show you how we can do that. OK, so here's client B's data. Same as client A, but what we want to do is create a script that parameterizes the task logic so that we can use it for many tasks that we can create for different customers that we're going to have. All right, so here's the parameterization of the script. If you remember this on the left is the original task logic where we were taking the temperature data, taking the mean, and sending it to an, um, in, into a bucket. What we're doing is making all that parameterized. Um, the in input bucket is parameterized. The filtering of the measurement and the field is parameterized. We're also param parameterizing the output bucket. And now we can use uh, the API, scripts API, to actually create this script on the platform. Now, I've already run this command, but I'm going to walk through the key things that you need to run the, the, the command. Now, what you need is obviously the token that gives you the authorization to run this command on uh, your organization. And now for the body, what you need is your org ID. You can name your script and then pass in the actual flux that makes up the script. Now, the flux in this case is what I showed you in the slide, uh, the parameterized uh, flux logic. And you give a bit of a description of what this script is. So when you see it later, you know what it was for. And the language that you're using. In our case, it's always going to be Flux. And when I, when I ran this, I can see that it, it, uh, it was a successful, a successful operation. And I now have a script ID for the script that's created on the platform. The thing is, we want to, the, the script is great. You can invoke it at any time. And you can pass in the parameters and get the value. But what we want to do is then also create a task that references the script and passes in the uh, required um, uh, parameters. So let's look at what, what it takes to do that. <clears throat> and here's where you get some, uh, you can see how this is very valuable at task management at scale. So what we're doing here is creating a task. We're passing in the script ID, which is now referencing the script that we just looked at. And it's passing in the parameters to fill in all of this logic. So let's look at what I'm passing in. I'm passing in the input bucket, the measurement, the field, and the output bucket. In this case, we have updated it to be client B and downsample client B. Now, I have run uh, this command as well to actually create the task. And it's been successful. And that's the, the output that you get. And if we pop back over to our UI, you see, you'll see that the, there's a task now, downsample client B. And just to make sure that all the data is in there, you can see that the bucket that, was, that, that we created and we were putting the data for client B into is actually taking values. The same as what we did for client A, but now with the help of the script, you can keep creating tasks, referencing the script, and passing in inputs and as you have more customers on board, like client C or D, you can, use, you can pass in the required parameters, client C, client D, and, and you can continue creating um, tasks to manage your uh, data. So there you have it. We use scripts to enshrine this uh, flux logic that you can repeat across multiple tasks. And we made it parameterized so you can create multiple tasks that reference the same script and just have different outcomes depending on the input parameters. Now I want to demonstrate how you can use invocable scripts to trigger logic from your application and how this can be useful to you. So back to our scenario, we've got client A, client B, and client A is actually Australian. So they want their temperature data to be, uh, to be transformed to Celsius uh, when they query it. So we can actually do that on the platform uh, using Flux. And we can enshrine that into a script and have your application simply uh, use the script. So let, let's see how we can do that. So here's the data. Uh, you can see that it's in Fahrenheit. You know, uh, and now let's try to convert it to Celsius. So it's simple math. 
we use, um, you know, subtract 32, divide by 1.8, and um, rearrange the table a little bit, and we can convert it to Celsius. So those 70s to turn into 21s. All right, so now that we have the logic to convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, uh, we want to now enshrine this in a script. And I'll do the same thing as I did before, where I'm going to parameterize input data. Like you, I'm going to parameterize the input bucket, the output bucket, uh, the um, the values that it in, that it can take in, and so I've got it set up here. Uh, you can see params dot measurement, uh, params dot field name. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, parameterize the tag value as well. Uh, the math remains just as is, and I've parameterized the out bucket. So let's go ahead and run it. There we go. We run it, and we've actually created a a script. Uh, so that's the script ID that's been created. So for actually, we, I did the same thing. I have a token uh, body, and I've created the script. What it returns me is the uh, script ID, and and you know all the details of the script, the name, uh, the org that it runs on, and the actual script itself. And what I need really is the the script ID. Now let's take your application, and it's actually going to it. What it's doing is invoking this script and providing some. Uh, some uh, key information so that you can actually run it. So what you provided is you're telling it, you know, here's I want uh, client A's down sample data as my the bu in bucket. I want to find out temperature data for a specific tag value, uh, which is a specific sensor, and I want the output uh, put to uh, Celsius bucket, or and also want it returned to me. So let's try to invoke this. There we go. So we've had. We have successfully run this. Obviously, this is a little hard to understand, so let's take it over to uh, spreadsheet and split. Voila. The data that was in uh, Fahrenheit is returned to you in Celsius. There you have it. You can see how you can use invocable scripts to you know, store some logic and do some transformation and provide the output that you need. And this can be triggered from your application. I think it's pretty powerful. Thank you. I hope that was useful. And stay tuned for more Influx Days.